What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome to Sangfroid Tales of Werewolves, Tome 1. I don't know what that means. Let me just go offline for a second. So I was looking at the options, and it doesn't seem like there is a an option for the, um, the resolution. So it looks like it's lower than, than 1080p, so I'm not really sure how to change it. Maybe I can figure it out later. Um, you know, we'll see. But anyway, this game is not released yet. I was looking for a new strategy game to play, and I saw this game, and I immediately thought, oh my god, this looks amazing. It was on Steam. But it's not coming out until March. But if you buy it now, you can get instant beta. You get a little bit of a discount, like 10%, I believe. Um, so I just picked it up, and I figured, you know what? Let's just try it. So that's what we're going to do. Let's start a new game. Do I get to pick... Ah, select the hero. Jack. Joss. Or does it say Joe? I think it says Joss. He's the high difficulty one, and then he's the normal. So I'm going to go... Can I pick her? No, I can't. I'm going to go with this dude. He looks cooler. He's easier to play as. So, yeah. <clears throat> Joss Excel... Ex Joseph Tide Joss O'Carroll. Excels both in cl close combat and with traps. He was a sickly child and almost died after a bad fall from a tree, but his mother, a famous Inu witch, witch used her magic spell so effectively t to heal him that he grew up with an iron constitution and extraordinary strength. Enticed by the high pay they offered him, Joss took a job as a lumberjack at the W. Hood Company at a very young age. After the forced exile of his brother Jack, who was wanted by the authorities for his role in the Patriot Rebellions of 1837, Joss bought a little property in the village of Wolfsville, where he lives with his sister Josephine. Joseph and Josephine, okay. I mean, obviously that's not confusing if you're the parent. Uh, go. Type in the name of your new profile. I'm gonna go with Linus, because that's my name. Oh, like, I can see guns and hatchets now, that's pretty cool. Click on a green square to load that day. So you have to start on the 5th of December, 1858. Awesome. So the point of this game, from what I gather, is to fight werewolves. Yep, wolf. For some time now, many villagers in Wolf have noticed a lot of strange behavior coming from the wolves in the forest, acting more aggressive than usual. There are even rumors that have been possessed by the devil. Recommended traps, wolf trap, hanging net, spike trap. Got it. Wolf trap, hanging net, spike trap. Chapter 1. Exile and Reunion. As I live and breathe. If it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. <laughs> Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy. Doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> but hey. Don't just stand there like you're holding up the door post. The thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Don't worry. That's me. Was it my idea to come here, brother? Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Oh god. Did you hear that? Sounds like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. Since you're gonna be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will ya? Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. <laughs> I'm liking these characters so far. A little cutscene type thing. Why did I bring an... Oh, I have an axe and a gun. I can roll. Rotating the camera. You can combo it up. How do I use my gun? I'm trying to figure that one out. Maybe I have to wait. Oh, I can sprint. Roll. Okay, I head to the waypoint. Oh god, it's a wolf. I'll be damned. The horses are dead. And your wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. Jackie boy. Close by. Oh shit, we got a wolf. We got a wolf. Kill the wolf eating the dead horses. But why? Because they're already dead, so what does it like what does it matter? 
Die, wolf. Little bitch. Take that. Oh, what you gonna do? What you? I have an axe. Okay, don't mess with me, bro. Boom, there you go. Six cents. From a wolf. Don't ask me why it was carrying a couple of cents with it, but I took him. Oh, shit. What is Q? There's like a Q button, but I don't know what that does. I kind of want to use the gun as well. The bridge to the village is burning. Looks like I'm going to be staying with Jack longer than expected. Damn it, Joseph. Now I have to stay with your idiot brother. Combat. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen, while your stamina is represented by the green bar. You use stamina for each attack you make. If you run out of stamina, then your attacks are slow and weak. You accumulate rage for each attack you land on an enemy. The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. Oh snap, okay. To evade enemy attacks, you can press the space bar to perform a dodge roll. <laughs> okay. Seems seems clear. Kill all the nearby wolves. Oh, there they are. Oh god. Die wolf. Taste my wrath. Oh no. Messed that messed up there. Die. There you go. I don't want to use my enraged attack just yet. Oh, I have a giant mini map. So it's not really mini map, it's a giant map. Where's the miller? Is it a trap? It's a trap. Oh, that. May Saint Anne have mercy on me. For the love of God, please help me. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to cut down a tree? Oh, he's fighting. Okay, he's got some wolves in his back. About guns? The, the rifle, rifle, yes! To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. This icon appears when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target, or if your target is out of range. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you aim carefully for the head, the crosshair will turn green, and you can make a headshot, causing maximum damage. Left click to fire. <laughs> the sense amount of ammo you have remaining is shown at the bottom left of the screen. Okay. Kind of sounds like that took some old guy to do the voice over, which is a little weird. Go, 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 go. Click that right mouse button. My, bruh, bruh, bruh. Right mouse button. There you go. Little bitch. Oh, what you gonna do? Wolfie boy. Stab. Well, actually, I'm not gonna stab with an axe. That would not be efficient. Taste my rage. I missed. I missed. There goes all of my rage. Why are the wolves just, like, circling me? They're not doing too much. Maybe because it's the tutorial, I don't know. Don't worry, bro. I'm getting you out of that tree. The good lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Hard to miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be careful. There's a pack of rabid wolves around here. How many? Dozens. Hundreds, maybe. What the hell? They even blocked the road to my mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W Hood Company. Okay, well obviously a safe choice to make is to to go for it. Let's reload this bad boy. So they blocked off the way to his mill. I have 10 ammo, okay. Maybe I shouldn't sprint as much to save stamina, I don't know. I can hear wolves. Where are you? Oh, there they are. There they are. They're too far away, though. Or, I had to go there first. Fear Factor. I love that show. 
When you're in combat, the fear factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case the icons start to get closer. When your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. If ah. you're running low on stamina, it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you if you're too close. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. So I got 20 now. Kill all the dirty wolves. Hey, dirty wolf. Boom. There you go. Headshot. I can reload because they're too scared of me. Oh, God. They're getting close. They're getting too close. There you go. Oh, they're getting scared because I'm, like, slashing them up. That makes sense. Okay, so they get scared if you do a lot of damage to them. Time to reload again. Oh, that one's dead. I forgot about that. Kind of looked alive to me. Head to the waypoint. I didn't see hundreds of wolves, though. There's, there, there were just three of them. Nope. Not shooting. Kind of wonder what my brother's doing. Is he still making tea? Why is he not helping? Questions. So this is the mill then. Wolves knock down a tree. Pack management. When you attack oh multiple God. enemies at the same time, your chances for survival drop. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities, the intimidating shout. Ah. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. Ah! Don't forget, the distance between the two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Always pay attention to them. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I get it. 